look at this tick. I went outside fishing and when I got in my car, this tick was crawling around my dashboard. But look at him. Run him around. You know what? Let's do a test today. I will be testing permethrin on this live active tick. But look, look at this. I'm zooming in. Look at him. Running so quick. This is a little slow motion too. But you see that he is extremely, extremely active. So yeah, in today's video, I'll be using a product called permethrin from Sawyer. This is basically a treatment for your clothing so that when uh, you go into the woods, because that's what I was doing, I was fishing in the woods for northern snakeheads, and there's a lot of ticks in there, and uh, this is supposed to kill them. Not just repel, but kill them. But uh, here's a Q-tip, you know, I was kind of blocking him, trying to mess around with him. But yeah, what I'll do is, I'm going to take a Q-tip, which you just saw, and I am going to dip it into the permethrin, and I'm going to wipe it around this little pint, my little Noosa jar, my Noosa bucket, and let's see how he behaves. Make sure you shake the product really well. Again, I'm going to keep saying this, please take note that he... Uh, crawling pretty, pretty normal, normal pace. Um, once we apply this product on to the little area, we'll see what happens to him. So let's see. I'll put it around the rim on the top because I don't want him to crawl out. Okay. And now, let's put it in the center as well. That's kind of like the death pit right here. Okay. Now, let me just see if I can get him back to the center. Use the other end of the Q-tip and let's just push him right in the center. Come on, get off. And you know what? Let's just put him exactly right here. If he crawls up to the top, because I have to permethrin on the top of that Q-tip. Nothing on the bottom. Oh, never mind. Alright, so there he goes. Walking, 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 walking. Dude, he stopped. Look at him. He's like, what is going on? But he walked over it anyway. Uh-oh. So, yeah. He kind of had a small reaction to it. And now he's just crawling on his side. And he went back down. I wonder if he smells stuff on top. But let's put some more on a perimeter right here. Just, just like that. Let's see what happens. He walked on it. And he fell. Look. He wasn't falling early. He was so active. You know, like... He's going back on that side to see what happens. Oh, wait. See, he, he does not want to go into the corner where I just put it at. He's kind of staying right in the middle. Let me just put some more in. This, put him back in the center. There we go. Look, he's upside down. All right. It's fine. But now I think uh, he knows he's in trouble. He don't care anymore. He's just walking. He's going to walk right back onto the stuff. But on the side, it's still super wet, so he don't want it. And put a little bit more on the side right here. Right around him. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to put a circle around him. No, he's just walking through. Yeah, he has no more reaction to it, I don't think. Let me just put it right in his face, see what happens. He, he's avoiding the Q-tip. He's avoiding the Q-tip. That's the strongest concentration right there because the cotton is holding a lot of the uh, chemicals. And he's falling. He's falling now. Climbing up, and he's falling. Dude, he was not falling earlier. He was he climbed up to the rim. He's climbed all around, but now he's look at him. Look at look at him. Oh man. Oh man. He's kind of like walk walk, kind of like a small jitter walk. He's climbing up again. He's falling. See now, applying this on my pants, it'll be great because if Dick crawling on my pants and it's falling off I won't get any Lyme disease or what's the other one uh, um, Barbiziosa I think that's what's called you know a spot of fever this is good stuff I also know in northern Jersey area or central Jersey area there's the new gray tick from Asia the one that actually could mate by itself and reproduce I believe that carries a different disease which is pretty crazy but Let's just take a look at this tick right now. He's not really moving a lot. You see that? 
Like, man, he's been impacted a lot. I'm putting a little bit more permethrin on the edge just for now. Because I'm going to leave this container on the side for like a couple minutes and then come back to it and see how it looks at. But look at the top left. Um, at that. But look at the top left hand corner. That is the original beginning footage, which is only a couple minutes back. Because I have not stopped this video since the start of putting permethrin in this little um, Nusa bucket. And um, yeah, comparing, look, he's he was walking around and now he's not even walking around. This is insane. This is good. You definitely want to put this on your clothing. So guys, as you see here, this is a different pint. I cut a little hole for air. The reason why I put the tick in a different container, this is a, a bigger container, has more air, and it's not treated because, you know, he was already in the little container with all the chemicals in there. And I want him to just have a little chance to rest and see how it looks after 30 minutes. And let's just take a look at him. And yeah, he's on my hand. He's not really moving, but there he goes. He's kind of coming back to life, I guess. But um, yeah, look, look at him. He's like pretty much dying. So if I left him on the, the little Noosa bucket, he would probably die by now. They say permethrin is very toxic to ticks, so as you can see, he is pretty much almost dead. Okay, one hour in. He is basically lifeless, kind of. Look at that. He's, he's not even moving that much anymore. He's kind of wiggling. Hey guys, this thing is going to be dead soon. So we could say that permethrin is super duper effective on dealing with ticks. It will not only repel them, it will also kill them. So you guys definitely need to get some of these to protect yourself. So yeah, this product from Sawyer, I got it from Amazon, but they also sell them Dick Sporting Goods and Walmart. I find it cheaper on Amazon, so if you need the link, you guys can check the description below. But you guys should definitely spray up before you guys go out in the woods, catching fish, doing hunting looking for morals, you know, whatever you guys do, you guys got to protect yourself from the elements, that includes bugs, bugs and their diseases. Thank you for watching guys, peace out.